I found these bicycle padlocks at the kids playground and thought why not just challenge myself to crack this code. With 10,000 possible combinations, it should have taken me about 5.5 hours, if I guess every two seconds. After a few intense hours, I finally unlock it. And then I found much easier, faster way I'm so excited to share with you in this video. Before we jump into the cracking technique, let's first we reset this padlock. Look for a small reset button or a lever on the lock, this one. Hold the combination in place and twist the reset button in clockwise. Enter your new four digit combination. I will set my to 8318. So once the new code is in, release the reset button. Now that is a new code. So now let's reset it again. But this time I will cover my hand and I just deal random number that I don't know and then let's crack together. I will look it and now I put this in to reset it and you can hear it and then I will twist it. So basically no way I know now the number that what the number that I put. Now I will show you the quick and easy way to crack this okay. Step one make sure the numbers are facing the right way not upside down, okay? Or backward like this. And step two, place the padlock on your knee to support it while you pull the lock for tension. So I leave there. Do this each still, moving to the right to left or vice versa until you crack the code. Okay, that is stuck. Now I go another one. Seems stuck. There we go. That is a new code, okay? So 0140. There we go, the new code. And that that is how to unlock this one. So this one is easy, right? It's quicker than guessing the number method. So my curiosity didn't stop there. So I bought two different types of padlock. This one and this one. I will show you how to reset it first. Uh, we go with this small one. The small one because uh, I bought it, I know the code already. And the code before the when you bought new board is always set in zero zero, right? Let's reset this to other number. First, enter the combination and open the lock, pull lock like that. And then rotate the shuttle 90 degree counterclockwise and then push it down. So push it down and hold it down and set my new password or new combination by running the deal, okay? Rotate the shuttle back to its normal position to complete the setting. There we go. So now you, I got the new parts. Now I will reset it again, but this time I will blindfold it so I won't know the new random pin. Okay, I will deal it not to see the code and it should be locked, okay? Let's see if some method that I see on YouTube that can help me to crack this code. Let's see. We can use a paper clip, put it down inside that hole as far as we can get it, turn those wheels one by one, click it over, and wait for that paper clip to drop down the next level. So we need to find the sequence first. And we've got that one finally down. So the current code or the sequence that we've got now is this one right here, which is a four nine. Click it over twice. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Try out the lock. Must be the third one. And now we've got that code open. Okay, let's try this guy method, okay? Uh, I will use my um, needle to tap it. So basically my case is it didn't go down at all. So I try every number. The needle cannot uh, get through for this type of padlock method. This guy show it didn't work with this padlock, unfortunately. Now let, let's try other methods. Apply some tension to the shackle, then work out which dial has the most resistance and start with that one until you feel a change in the pressure. Now we need to find the next dial with the most resistance and repeat the steps. After watching this guy method, basically this is the second method that pulling the circle up 
and then they'll just spin around and feel you feel it. But my case is, although I pull this tension very strong, each number I feel the same feeling. I didn't feel at all, although I pulled this circle out to get the tension. I feel it didn't much, maybe I live there. Oh, it didn't work. <sighs> That's pain. So sadly, no luck either. Look like I locked myself out. I guess I will go back to the guessing method again. <laughs> oh dear. All right, let's try one more lock. A master lock called Hadernet, right down here. I'm not sure if you can see or not. It has three printed pins on the back, but I couldn't figure out how to reset this one. If anyone know how to reset this type of padlock, please drop in the comment below. That would be appreciated. So I will pretend I don't know the combination of this padlock and then try the method I saw on so YouTube. So light tension, start spinning it till you feel nothing, totally smooth. Anyways, I'm feeling one little click at the zero. All right, so once we found that one click, which mine's right on the zero, we're gonna add five numbers to it. So our first combination to this lock is gonna be five. So let's bring it to the five and let's start looking for our second number. Give it a little more tension than you did the first time. Right there, I can't go anymore. That is our second number. Now to find the last number is real easy. You don't have to use no tension on the shackle or nothing. We're gonna go two numbers the first time, pull on the shackle, nothing. Now we're gonna go four numbers. One, two, three, four. There you go. We just recovered the combination to this lock. Right. That a little bit too long, uh, but uh, let's see. The first is we find uh, the main number first, okay? That is we'll spin them uh, clockwise, okay? I'll pull this, put the tension. I'll start now until I feel it locked some point. So it didn't go nicely locked. It's around here between 15 and 20. 15 to 20. And now back to clockwise again, okay? Same lock around here. So that means 30, 30, 35. 30, 35. Now put the um, clockwise again to, to find the third number. Here. So it's around, around 15 to 20. I guess the number 30, 35, 15 to 20. Five number in here and five number in here, okay? I got the main number already. Now let's see. Go oh. clockwise first, stop and 20. Stop 20 here. And then backward, go 30. And then back against 15 now. There we go. I got it. So that means it's correct, 20, 30, 15. It's a number of this padlock. The technique seems promising, but since I already know the combination code in my head, so I can't fully confirm if it works. Remember, a lock is a symbol of trust, not a guarantee. In this video isn't encouraging for the thief, but for those who have forgotten their combination code. If you are into more hack videos, please click on the screen to watch my other ones. Thanks for watching.